I brought a book that was uh, called The History of Magic. It was a Christmas gift to me. A roommate of mine in college, we exchanged Christmas gifts. I think I gave him a print or a drawing. Uh -huh. I was an art student, and he gave me this. Uh, well, apparently, you've read the book. You've kind of you've kind of hounded it a little bit. All the yeah. edges are worn away. Oh, and, and... Yeah, I've, I've, uh, it's not the kind of book you sit down and read cover right. to cover, but I've looked at it over the years. Well, it's also got wonderful illustrations in it. Yeah, you know, it if, does. If you no. go in, you know, there, there are actually uh, pieces like this, which are old illuminated manuscript mm -hmm. art. Um, old engraving. Engravings, woodcuts, woodcuts et yeah. cetera, yeah. The subject matter is, you know, mysterious and interesting. But... Right. I guess you say it's a compilation, which is true, yeah. and it was under the, uh, the name of Kurt Seligman who put it out. But what interested me, you know, this book, I'm going to cut right to a value here yeah. for you. This book in this condition is worth about $100. Yeah. Oh, really? However, when, when you had it at the table and you were talking to me, mm -hmm. in here I, I opened the flyleaf and I noticed who your college roommate was, yeah. was Jim Morrison that, of The Doors. That's right. So, all right, let's pounce on that. I okay. have all kinds of questions for you because I'm a Jim Morrison fan. Oh, really? I met Jim, Jim Morrison. I was in a, uh, a rooming house, uh -huh. renting a room. It, this was in Tallahassee, Florida, and this other guy lived there, and we got to be friends. We'd walk to school and so forth. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, and he was he, he it was Jim Morrison. I see that he's inscribed it as a Christmas gift, yeah, 1963, uh -huh. from Jim Morrison. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had been a Florida native, and Jim had bounced out to New Mexico, and he ended up back at Florida State where you were, and he, he decided to take a few classes. Mm -hmm. He kind of went in in typical Jim Morrison spirit, and uh, I, I guess that he had a few run-ins. He, he was originally in a video that was promoting the college. Yeah, and then, I remember that. Really? I yeah, know, and yeah. that's just a little part of a film that's promoting Florida State. It mm -hmm. really very... Uh, it's very dull. I right. Mean, so what kind of a student was he? What, I'd hate to hear that he was like a shy, meek guy. For his age, I'd say he was probably the most intellectually deep person and really? well-read I, 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 I ever met. And he was, he was 19 when you met him. 1920. Probably something like that. He gave you the book on the occult. It's mm -hmm. always been assumed that yeah. he had an interest in the yeah, occult. Yeah, he did. He in the band. He often took on the uh, the the name of the Lizard King. Yeah, all the band stuff was, came uh -huh. after I right, knew him. Right, right, right. And well, he, and he was, I would say, interested in the idea that um, maybe. People that are criminals are really saints, and that uh -huh. saints are criminals. And right. He was so attractive to the public. There's a following after his death. He died young. You know, he has all the components of value. You know, beauty, early death, intelligent, uh, wild. Mm -hmm. That's Jim Morrison to a T. So this, what a wonderful early, early view into his life and, and you know, his relationship with you as a young college kid. Mm -hmm. The value on this at auction, with the occult level, if it weren't that book, I'd put four to six thousand oh, dollars really? on it. But because it's that book, because it's early in his life, which generally doesn't help, I would say that the value on it is eight to ten thousand dollars at kidding. auction. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised at that. When we're done here, you want to have a beer? <laughs> yeah, we could. No kidding. My daughter's here, and she is. She, okay, let's she'd do go it. along with it. We'll take you over, and I'd okay, love to hear your that. stories. That'd be so awesome. Yeah. All right. You just finished getting your uh, appraisal for uh, the History of Magic, your copy of the History of Magic. Mm -hmm. uh, you've come out to talk with us further. I understand you were Jim Morrison's roommate in college. Right. What can you share with us about that uh, rather unique experience? Well, uh, we were in, in Tallahassee and, and at Florida State. It would have been the summer of 63. And I was living in a rooming house, and this other guy was there. And, we got to be friends. It was just, we didn't have cars, either one of us, so we could walk, you know, it was close enough. We'd walk to school. And the next summer, he, he left for California. The rest is history, as they say. Was there anything about uh, living with, with Jim that, in hindsight, indicated he'd turn out to be the character he turned out to be? Not so much the musical side. Um, 
what I, when he left, what I thought he was going to be was an, an actor. Because he had, in, in, at Florida State, he had been in a couple of drama performances, and he was super on stage. But he never sang or it showed really not that much interest in music, except one, one afternoon he came home and I was at the apartment and he said, Ed, come on, you've got to come hear this. And he said, I said, what, what is it? He said, come on, man, let's go. And he took me to somebody else and they had those first old Bob Dylan albums. You know, we listened to that and it just blew us away. And that's the first real interest I saw in him taken in what you might call popular music. Also, he would listen at night the portable radio by his ear to kind of put him to sleep. And then about one or two in the morning, these Mexican radio stations would come on that was super loud. That would, I'd have to get up and you know, turn the radio off. But other than that, no music, no interest in music at all. Did you turn out to be a Doors fan? Not really, you know. I, I, <laughs> by the time, by the time he was bec becoming famous, I was, I was married, starting a teaching career. Now mostly I listen to the uh, opera. 